October 5th, 2014 from Sports Authority Field at Mile High in Denver, Colorado. It was the Arizona Cardinals at the Denver Broncos. The Broncos won the toss and they elected to defer, so the Cardinals took over on their own 20-yard line. They marched down the field across midfield and into field goal range. And then it looked like they were going to score as they were all the way down on the Denver 9-yard line. It was first and goal from the 9 as they made it into the red zone. But then a false start penalty pushed them back. And a few plays later, they would have to settle for a 33-yard field goal from Catanzaro. And it was now 3 to nothing Cardinals over the Broncos. So the Broncos now took over with a little over 9 minutes on the clock in the first quarter. And they had the ball on their own 20. They picked up 19 yards on their first play from scrimmage as Manning hit Demarius Thomas. A few plays later, they would cross midfield. And then on second and 10 from the Arizona 36, Manning hit Demarius Thomas for 24 yards to bring the ball to the Arizona 12 as they were now in the red zone. And a couple plays later, Peyton Manning found Julius Thomas for the 7-yard touchdown pass. And it was now 7-3 Broncos as they took the lead by 4 points over the Cardinals. So now the Cardinals had the ball with less than five minutes left in the first quarter. They had it on their own 20. They marched down the field into field goal range, and Ken Zaro came out and kicked his second field goal of the game, this time from 48 yards out to make it a one-point game at 7-6. to six. So now the Broncos took over as they led the Cardinals by one, and they went three and out. The Cardinals now had the ball, and they brought the first quarter to a close as the game was now 7-6 to six after one. So now the Cardinals opened up the second quarter on their own 17, and they would end up going three and out as a leftover from the first quarter. And they would punt the ball, and the Broncos now had it with 14 minutes left before halftime. But then on second and 10, Peyton Manning dropped back to pass, and he was intercepted by Powers. So now the Cardinals had the ball back as Peyton Manning had thrown the interception. So the Cardinals had the ball on their own 45, and they ended up, getting a 15-yard pass from Stan to Ellington. They were now in Denver Broncos territory, but then their drive would end up stalling a few plays later as they would be forced to punt. So the Broncos would now take over with less than 11 minutes left before halftime. They had the ball on their own 20, and then they ended up going backwards because of a penalty. So it was second and 20 from the Broncos 10. They picked up 13 yards on a pass from Sanders from Manning. And then it was third and seven, and Manning found Sanders for the second straight play, this time for 30 yards. They crossed midfield, and they were on Arizona territory at the 47. And then a couple plays later, it was second down and seven, and Peyton Manning found Wes Welker for a 14-yard pass to make it first down on the 30. And then a couple plays later, Manning found Demarius Thomas, this time for a 31-yard touchdown pass to make it 14-6, to six, as the Broncos were now in the lead by eight points over the Cardinals. The Cardinals would go three and out on their next possession. The Broncos now took over on their own 38, but just a couple plays later, Peyton Manning threw his second interception of the game. As this time he was intercepted by Kalis Campbell. The Cardinals now took over with the ball on the Denver 5, and it only took them one play to score. As Andre Ellington punched it in for the five-yard touchdown run that made it once again a one-point game with a score now 14-13 to as the Cardinals trailed the Broncos. So now the Broncos had the ball, and they went three and out, and they would end up punting the ball back to the Cardinals, who now took over with about two and a half minutes left before halftime, but they also went three and out. So now the Broncos had the ball with less than two minutes left before halftime, and they had it on their own 14, and then Peyton Manning hit Demarius Thomas, and he went 86 yards for the touchdown, and it was now 21-13 to Broncos over the Cardinals as they extended their lead once again to eight points. So now the Cardinals took over with about a minute and a half left before halftime. And they would go three and out and put the ball back to Denver. Denver would get the ball. And after an incomplete pass, they decided to run. And they did pass on the last play of the half. And the half came to a close with the score of Denver 21, Arizona 13. The Broncos opened things up in the third quarter. But on the first play of the quarter, Peyton Manning was sacked for a three-yard loss. Then on second and 13, he hit Wes Welker for a six-yard pass, but then after not picking up the first down on third down, they would be forced to punt, and so the Cardinals would take over, but they would go three and out. And now the Broncos got the ball back with about 12 minutes left in the third quarter. They had the ball on their own 30. Then on second and five, Peyton Manning hit Emmanuel Sanders for 20 yards as they crossed midfield, and they were now on the Arizona 45. Then a few plays later, it was third and seven from the 25 and an incomplete pass. 
would bring out McManus as he kicked a 44-yarder. And it was now 24-13 as the Broncos extended their lead to 11 points over the Cardinals. The Cardinals would go three and out and put the ball to Denver. Denver would end up having it on their own 48. It was about seven minutes left in the third quarter. And they ended up getting 16 yards as Hillman picked up 16 yards on first down. So now they're in field goal range. They wouldn't get much further as McManus came out to attempt a 53-yarder. But it went wide left and it was no good, so the score remained 24-13. The Cardinals went three and out once again, and so now the Broncos had the ball and they went three and out. So now the Cardinals got the ball back. There was about three minutes left before halftime, and Andre Ellington caught a 81-yard pass from Logan Thomas, who had come into the game in relief of Drew Stanton. And it was now 24-20 as the Cardinals trailed by just four points. Logan Thomas had come in relief of Drew Stan a few series earlier as he had gone down to injury, so the Cardinals at this point had been on their third string quarterback for a few possessions. So now the Denver Broncos took over with about three minutes left in the third quarter. They would end up bringing the third quarter to a close as they had brought the ball across midfield and into Arizona territory, and they opened up the fourth quarter with a four-point lead in the ball on the Arizona 32. It was second 11. They picked up four yards as Hillman had a four-yard run. Then on third and seven, they had a five-yard pass to Wes Welker, but it was just shy, and they would end up bringing out McManus as he came out to kick a 41-yarder as they extended their lead to a touchdown with a score 27-20. to So now the Cardinals took over, and they went three and out. So the Broncos got the ball back with about 12 and a half minutes left in this game. They had the ball on their own 20. And Peyton Manning would bring them 80 yards in eight plays in about four and a half minutes, capped off by a 12-yard touchdown pass to Julius Thomas. So it was now 34 to 20. Broncos in the lead by 14 over the Cardinals. The Cardinals continued to go three and out as this became somewhat of a motif in their game plan. It appeared the Broncos now had the ball with less than seven minutes left in the game. They had it on the Arizona 46, and five plays later. They were in the end zone as Thompson ran for eight yards, and it was now 41 to 20. Broncos in the lead by 21. The Cardinals now went three and out yet again. The Broncos got the ball back, and they brought the game to a close as there was only three and a half minutes on the game clock. They picked up a few first downs, and then Peyton Manning took the knees, and it was now a final of 41 to 20. Broncos over the Cardinals. And in this game, Peyton Manning was 31 for 47 with 479 passing yards, four touchdowns, and two interceptions. Drew Stanton was 11 for 26 for 118 yards. And then Logan Thompson came in, and he was just one for eight. He had that one pass for 81 yards, which was a touchdown. So although he did go one for eight, he actually had more touchdowns than Drew Stanton, which is kind of sad. Anyway, Hillman was the game's leading rusher with 15 carries for 64 yards. And the leading receiver in this game was Demarius Thomas with 8 receptions for 226 yards and 2 touchdowns. Emmanuel Sanders had 101 yards with 7 receptions. And Andre Ellington, he actually had 112 yards off of 4 receptions and a touchdown after only running for 32 yards off of 16 carries, one of which was for a touchdown though. So quite the amazing game. The Broncos had three sacks versus the Cardinals, one sack. Is Demarcus Ware had a sack, and Miller had one and a half sacks. So the Broncos beat the Cardinals, and this game ended up being a blowout. It was a close game at one point, but the final score ends up being 41 to 20 Broncos as they improve their record to three and one, and they hand the Cardinals their first loss of the 2014 season, so there is no longer an undefeated team in the NFC. Once again, the final score, 41-20 Broncos over the Cardinals.